Fixed stream AI ops platform does multi-layer correlation between the business layer, the application layer and the infra layer to be able to respond to specific business KPI and SLA violation which is triggered by either problems in the application domain or the infrastructure domain. And it does that by hierarchically grouping the applications into a business process context. For example, uh, in this case, e-commerce is a business process that is running on four different applications, billing, customer management, online self-service and provisioning. And if you click on e-commerce, you see the entire application map across all of the entities within the application stack and the infrastructure stack that supports the e-commerce business process. And the platform also can detect the transaction metrics by integrating with existing APM tools and then collecting all the business process metrics around the end user transactions. For example, the buy service, um, create account, pay bill, their corresponding transaction rate and the success and failure rate, the response time in the time series. And then subsequently what the platform does, it will, it has an open API platform whereby you can ingest the business KPIs and the business metrics. For example, within an e-commerce business stack, uh, what are the, how many number of orders being processed within a given time, their status, uh, and based on the KPIs of response time and the end-to-end -end completion time of a business process event, um, the platform has the ability to correlate into the application layer and the infrastructure layer to detect problems that might be causing that. Uh, for example, if you go to the e-commerce dashboard widget, it has three different layers. Uh, infra health, which is uh, predicated by the number of fault, alert and ticket and the score that represent how healthy the infra is. The number of transactions in successful and failure state within the selected time window. And then the business metric tab. If you click on that, it shows you the, the hierarchical relationship between the business process and the application and the corresponding operational details for each of the entities. Now, if you click on the business process, it tells you between the start and end date uh, and time, what are the different orders being processed and the pending and the failure state. For example, if I click on the failed number of orders, it further breaks it down into different KPIs, which is ingested through the open API in a hierarchical view and which is now correlated within the platform to get to this point. Uh, let's say, for example, within the uh, TV orders, you have 33% orders are, are in the failed status. If you click on that, it takes you to a time series view that shows you by each hour how many orders are in the failed status. As you can see, there is something that happened during this time whereby the number of failed transactions dramatically increased. Now, if I click on that, it takes you to the event correlation screen whereby it can pinpoint to exactly at the time when the number of errors went up, what was happening within the application and the infrastructure stack. All the sequence of events leading into the point where the number of errors went up um, and the number of orders starting to fail, you can very quickly understand that and, and take actions to solve it. So at a very high level, the platform is doing correlation across your business KPIs, um, starting with the business process level SLA and the the KPI metrics from there and then correlating that to all the underlying application entities and then to the infrastructure entity to give you a very, very powerful view whereby you can quickly answer any business KPI related issue that might be triggered from either application problem or an infra problem. Thank you.